Vesper Radius. That one exotic you warlocks have in your vault and probably have not touched it in a while. It has a pretty interesting exotic perk and you guys asked for some fun builds, so here's one. Also, with the addition of loadouts in Lightfall, it might be a good idea to save this one for later. My name is Tavius Place, now let's get into it. Vesper Radius was released during the Curse of Osiris expansion of Destiny 2, and it hasn't really found a place in build making like ever, especially with our light subclasses, but with Stasis is a different story. It's a bit of a reckless exotic, but it's a really fun one. Planetary Torrent is the exotic armor perk. Your rifts release an arc shockwave when cast. Also, rift energy recharges faster when you're surrounded by enemies. I want to add that the shockwave is very similar to the Severance Enclosure shockwave for the Titan Exotic. It does not jolt or causes any chain lining. It simply pushes enemies away from you. So this exotic rewards you for being all up in enemies' faces and casting rifts while surrounded. This is why this exotic doesn't really synergize with Arc Soul or Child of the Old Gods. So for now, Stasis is the way to go until we get tested with the new Strand. If we're going to be up close and personal with a bunch of adds, we're going to need some support. Let's go over our Stasis abilities, aspects and fragments. Of course, we're going to need a healing rift, especially for high level activities. Which yes, it's kind of risky to use this in GMs or raids, but I tested it in a Master Spiral Watcher and was really impressed how good it was. Anyway, for our grenade, we need Dustfield Grenade. See, we're trying to freeze and shatter as much as possible with this build, and not only does Dustfield has the fastest base cooldown at only 1 minute 4 seconds, it slows and freezes enemies. For the aspects, we need Isler Bolts, Shattering a Frozen Target spawns Seekers that track and freeze other nearby targets. And the most important one, Frost Pulse. Casting your rifts generates a shockwave that freezes nearby combatants. This works so well with Vesper Radius because the freezing from Frost Pulse is instant and the shockwave from our exotic chest speed takes about half a second, giving just enough time to freeze everyone around you and shatter them with the shockwave. In higher level activities, you could jump into the encounter with a Dustfield Grenade first, and when you land, use your Rift. You'll freeze and shatter almost everyone while also getting most of your Rift energy back with the second part of the exotic perk. Now we are going to have to help the exotic perk with getting more class ability energy simply because we want to have a rift up at all times, but we'll go over the armor mods and weapons in a second. Let's go over the fragments now. Oh, by the way, if you find this video informative, help me out by hitting that like button to help the video and the channel reach other Destiny 2 players. Also, if you're looking for a welcoming community of helpful players to run activities, consider joining the Tabius Place community discord. I'll have all the info in the description as well as Patreon perks. Okay, back to the video. For our stasis fragments, we have the Whisper of Refraction. Defeating slowed or frozen targets grants you class ability. Slow targets with our Dustfield Grenade and shatter ones with the Rift and weapons. Next is the Whisper of Fissures. Increases the damage and size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or a frozen target. Another way to do big damage to bosses, champions and yellow bars that are near you when you cast your Rift. For our third one, I added the Whisper of Bonds to get your super energy by defeating frozen targets, which we will be doing a lot of. There's a reason I did this, I'll explain when I get to the weapons. And for the last fragment, the Whisper of Chains. While you're near frozen targets or friendly stasis crystals, you take reduced damage from targets. As soon as you put down your Rift and Freeze targets, you start healing and take reduced damage with this. Very useful in higher level activities. As you can see for my stats, I only really try to spec for resilience and recovery to stay alive for the 1.2 seconds it takes to cast the rift. Our grenade has a super fast cooldown and our super will fill up with the help of the Whisper of Bonds, defeating frozen targets. Now let's move on to my weapon of choice, Agar Scepter, I love this weapon, almost as much as my Wither Horde. If only we had some Trace Rifle mods in the Seasoner Artifact, but who knows, maybe with Lightfall we will. As we all know, Agus Scepter is a stasis kinetic trace rifle. Its intrinsic trait creates a slowing burst around the enemies you defeat with it. Remember that Whisper of Refraction? Gives you ability energy for defeating slowed enemies, so there you go. Also, kills with this weapon add ammo to the magazine, so you don't have to reload as much. And having the catalyst for it gives you the option to use your Shadebinder super energy and pour it into this weapon to do tons of damage with it. Such a great versatile weapon. Even if you don't have the catalyst for it, it's still a great weapon. Now let's move on to some of the armor mods. As we know, some of the mods are going to change with Lightfall. 
so I will explain what each mod does in case the name changes or something. On my helmet I have a stasis siphon, which creates orbs of power by rapidly defeating enemies with a stasis weapon, Aragus Scepter. A trace rifle ammo finder and elemental armaments to spawn some stasis elemental wells with stasis weapon kills. We know that elemental wells are going away, so this will probably change to stasis crystals instead of wells. Same concept. On my arms I have a trace rifle loader, grenade kickstart to get a head start on that grenade cooldown after using it, and elemental shards. Again, stasis shards since elemental wells are going away. On our Vesper Radius, I have a Trace Rifle Reserves, some resistance from the elements, usually every season there's some kind of resistance in the seasonal artifact, and also Font of Might. Picking up a Stasis Elemental Well grants a bonus to the damage of our Agus Scepter. I'm sure we'll have a replacement for this one, once wells go away. On the legs, I just have Absolution to reduce all ability cooldowns when I pick up an Orb of Power and a Trace Rifle Scavenger, again, not trying to run out of Agar Scepter ammo. And last for the class item, I have Double Perpetuation, which reduces your class ability cooldown when you use your class ability. Reducing the cooldown means you'll see your class ability refill way faster than usual. And these do stack, but one is fine if you can do two of them. And at the very end I have Reaping Wellmaker. Another optional one, and one that will get a change with elemental wells going away. This one spawns a void elemental well with the first weapon kill after casting your rift. Okay, so with this build, you will not be playing it safe at all. You have to jump in the middle of as many ads as possible to use your rift. Activating your rift will freeze all enemies around you with your frost pulse aspect, and then shatter most of them with the exotic chess piece Vesper Radius. Casting your rift while surrounded will almost fully refund your class ability with the Vesper Radius perk, and defeating frozen targets grants you super energy with the Whisper of Bonds, more class ability energy with the Whisper of Refraction, and also create a bigger stasis burst with the Whisper of Fissures. You can also slow targets with our Dustfield Grenades to defeat with Dagger Scepter and get our super and rift backed almost immediately. And there you have it guys, a kind of reckless but super fun build with Vesper Radius and Stasis Warlock. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support the content, I'll have a Discord and Patreon information down in the description. My name is Tavius Place. I thank you for your viewership, and if you'd like to watch other Informative Destiny 2 videos, you can click here.